Hey everybody, this is Brittany here from Surfing Waves of Light and I was sitting here doing some work and I felt inspired to make a video, a channeling on the weight of our stuff. And um, I just want you all to know I am not a morning person. I wake up at nighttime, so anytime I'm making these videos during the day, uh, it's a little bit more outside of my comfort zone even though it's 1.25 p.m. here in the United States, I just get loads of energy at night, and I love being up at night. There's something about when the collective conscious quiets, I feel the most open and relaxed and in receiving. But I also am inspired to channel during the day. But my guide just wanted me to say that. I think if I didn't live in a world that was always awake during the day, I may just have a more regular schedule of being awake at night and embracing what would come with that so we'll see maybe i'll find a way to incorporate that into my practice like see clients in other countries where nighttime is their daytime and it's normal to make us an appointment at one in the morning all right so anyway i'm going to channel on the weight of our stuff and let's see what the guides have to say Greetings, dear beings. We are the Arcturian Council and we are sparkling with joy to be here with you today. We want you to imagine yourselves in this lighter state, this state of transparency. We want you to feel into the energetic aspects of your being. This feeling can come a little bit beyond the physical body and sometimes within it. It's a bit airy, it's a bit light, it's much more connected to feeling on the inner planes or on the, the sixth sense of the word feeling as opposed to the physical feeling of touch. And we want you to see all around you a sparkly glow, sparkles of opalescent colors all around your field within your transparent being as well as approximately six feet around it. This is how we see you, dear beings. This is how we perceive ourselves. We Focus highly on keeping a clear and sparkly energetic aura so that when any experience, challenge, or lesson comes our way, we are in the best possible state to receive and move through that lesson. You see, dear beings, this universe is so intelligent. We can move you through, help you to move through any situation that presents, any challenge, no matter how cluttered, disorganized, or unbalanced your field is. But as we are beings of love and light and we wish for you to have ever increasing loving experiences on this planet, what we wish for you to do is to sparkle, is to clear your field so that when you are meeting these experiences, you can move through them in love, in grace, in gentleness and joy and dexterity. There is no formula for the perfect life on earth. There is merely the experiences you planned and the choices you make. And so there's nothing wrong with going through experiences clouded and dense. This being felt much clouds and denseness and imbalance during the pandemic. Many things came up for her and she was not always able to adequately clear those in a certain way. But you see, sometimes densities come into your being and you are choosing to live with them because that is the experience you need in that moment. That is the experience you need to fully move through the density to fully understand it. And usually when you fully 
embrace something and live in it, oftentimes you fully live out that lesson and no longer go back. It may help you to completely clear an energy. So there is nothing wrong with being in the density, but we are saying that as time goes on and you start to clear these very deep rooted issues that have come from the conditioning on your planet, you will be able to move through more of your experiences with this beautiful, shining, sparkly aura that we are projecting at all times. You see, we are not physical or non-physical. We are both and nothing. We exist within time and an aspect of ourselves exists without it. And so there is much conflict and opposites in this world. So we want you to really embrace the idea that there is nothing right or wrong. We merely provide guidance to share how we have guided this being in her life, how she is responding to the different ways of going about the challenges, and we share what has worked for us with her. You see, we have called her to put a pause on her very high passion of surfing. Her father passed many years ago, and he had many tools and things that have not been let go of yet. And at this time, she has been called to pause the surfing and the other aspects of life that bring her passion in order to clear some space for a new. You see, the experiences that are coming to this being and all of you beings are beautiful and great ones. And as you have decided to take a conscious approach to this lifetime, we can see that you all wish to experience these challenges, these experiences in grace, in joy, in gentleness, and in love. For that is what you have, what you have chosen by putting on the conscious cap, by looking at everything and not just taking it for what it is. And so in that effort, there is a great gift, the gift of guidance, the gift of being able to move through experiences anew. And so it is not to say that this being is done with her surfing or with any of her other passions. No, she is clearing space so that she can more fully step into these experiences so that any of the lower frequency thoughts, emotions, or ideas that may have impeded or blocked or created any kind of dysfunction within these experiences, we are having them clear her. We are having her clear them right now. And so mental clutter, as you may all very well know, can be often represented by physical clutter. And this clutter, it's not only affecting herself, it is affecting her loving, so ever so loving heart-centered mother. It is affecting her sister and her family. It is not good to have a lot of clutter and she can see that. During the times of grief, it was not in her inspiratory action to do these things. But now it is, and she feels much energy as she goes through these tasks. And that is how we wish for you to approach all tasks. We will give you inspired energy. We will help to facilitate the perfect experiences when you just let go and allow. And so we are inviting you to begin to clear your field as best as you can, however you see the clutter in your life, because the weight of this clutter of these items and things it is it is weighing you down it is blocking more open experiences it is blocking new ideas and thoughts and ways of living for what is occurring now although daunting it may seem this is not to be the norm the norm is to be a life filled with love and happiness filled with clarity and this can be resonated out into the universe by taking time to clear your space your energetic field of your personal human being and all the things that are attached to it you see this being has never had cats and she has recently her mother has recently adopted three cats in the past two years 
And so she is learning about them. She has never had pets and this was purposeful. It was purposeful for her to learn about animals in close proximity at this point in her life, the point when her father had passed. This was planned. And what she is noticing is that these beings do not need to be physically close to herself, her mother, or any of the other beings they enjoy a loving, caring relationship with. No, these cats are constantly sitting on her clothing, her things. The other day she brought out her newly created calendar and guess what the first thing one of the cats did was? They went and sat right on that calendar because they recognize energy. They see a being not only as this individuated egg-shaped energetic self, they also see that your energy fields extend into the things that you own. So they need not touch human beings to show their love and affection. They merely go to the place where they smell or feel the energies of that being. And so when they do that, they are trying to help bring awareness to the consciousness of this being. Hey, this is more of your stuff. Is this something that is going with you or is it time to leave it behind? So this being and her mother have been taking time to go through each room when inspired, looking at the shelves and deciding, okay, keep maybe and throw away or recycle. We have all sorts of plans for that with them as well. And so they are taking that stuff, placing it in the garage, which they cleared out first, and now they have a system. This house has accumulated 30 plus years of the life of four members of a family that are entrenched in a much bigger family, which is entrenched in an even bigger community. So there is a lot of space to clear here. And they are not just clearing space for themselves, but every energetic action they take, just like you, we use them as examples, but we are speaking to you, dear beings. Every energetic action they take, especially inspired, that doesn't just clear for themselves, it clears for the community because the future is the community and it is in clearing out the communities, getting back to the roots, getting into that equal equanimity, synchronistic, that flowing perfection energy, getting your communities and your roots back to that. That is the core, that is the base. And so many of you will be feeling drawn to come back to your bases at this time to do deep clearing for that was where much of the programming on your planet was started, was initiated. You see, you experienced the theta wavelength of imagination for the first seven years of your life. This is when you absorb the program. This is how when you come into a separated conscious, you know how to play the game that you came to play here. And so you agree to that and it is just a program. It is like we inserted a chip, except for in human form, you learn it over time and experiences. And now you are recognizing that it is just a game. You are clearing out the energies, releasing your attachments to this game world, and you are getting ready to move, not out of the game world yet, but creating a game where you're winning, where you are equalizing and smoothing out the energy so there is not chaos, disruption, and unlovingness. You are creating a loving game. And from that loving game, that is the level that you will be able to come fully back into your timeless, eternal self. And clearing the space, all these lower frequency energies, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, letting them go tells the game that you are ready to move forward, that this level is over. Imagine it's just a level getting rid of the stuff. And we know you've all been doing this. Take your time, enjoy the process, and allow the emotions that surface with each item to come and be released. But remember, the physical, the extra stuff, it's clutter, it's extra, and it is weighing you down. And it is not allowing you to move forward in your life fully because we want you to have the most loving experiences, the most enjoyable, graceful experiences. Even though there will still be some emotions, some drama, this will fade over time. So accept what is in front of you and allow, allow yourself to clear, to cleanse, in this 
in whatever way calls to you, physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. This physical cleansing is also preparing this being for her next physical eating cleanse, which is always a spiritual, mental, and emotional experience. And so when she clears her physical space, she is going to be in a much better position to clear her physical body. And she has not done a cleanse in a long time because she has not been inspired. There was too much clutter. It was not in that free and clear space. And dear beings, experiences are just so much more enjoyable when you are in that clear space, that sparkly space. And so that is how we see you because that is our job to hold the vision of the best aspects of you in our mind and that is how we see ourselves and we want you to see yourself that way and even if there is mounds of clutter all around you just see yourself in a clear field and we will help to facilitate whatever needs to be done to get that reality grounded into the physical experience. We love you all so very much, and we appreciate you listening to our chatter. Thank you. All right. I had a cat sitting right here the whole time. 16 minutes. Time is always weird when I do these. I never know how long. I know some of the videos are longer than others. Thank you for listening. Um, the clearing of the space has felt really good. And it hasn't always been easy, definitely emotions coming up with things, but I can just feel that the physical new earth, the new experiences, they're coming and I want to make room for them. And that's how at least, that's some of the guidance I'm getting. Oh, my leg fell asleep. Oh my God. Back to the physical. Okay. Uh, I love you guys all so much. I promise I'm going to make a video about the cleanse. I just get inspiration and I follow it. So imagination, cleanse, these are all on my list um, to do. So I promise I'll do them. Love you. Have a good day. Bye.